Hi, welcome to the introduction of the Business Process Master List, BPML, and how you can link the S4HANA 1909 best practice processes to your current processes in order, and that's the target, to implement best practices of S4HANA to support your current business. So I'm using for this the BPML. You can download the BPML sample on our in our Digi store. And the second element what I use is the S4 HANA 1909 process step, best practice process step list, which you can also download in our Digi store. And the relation of this is that we do have here all the S4HANA best practice processes, which are also in this register S4HANA best practices for validation and selection purposes in our column C in the BPML. The third thing would make, which may be helpful, which I've also opened, is the S4HANA SAP Best Practice Explorer, um, which you find under https rapid.zamp.com slash bp. And what is important, so you can select uh, any version. Uh, I've selected the SAP Best Practices for the S4HANA Cloud. Uh, you can also select the on-prem version, it's all the same. But what is important is that you log on with your OSS user. Uh, you will be asked to log on. If you don't log on, uh, you will not see everything. And therefore, it's really recommended to log on. So how does this relate to each other? So what we do have here is a description and also the process flows of all S4HANA best practice processes. So let's take an example how this then also interrelates to our BPML, which is here. So we have BD09, BD9 sell from stock. So sell is sales. So if we go here, we can go further down and here we will find BD9, our sell from stock. Which is the last one and what we can see here is the content of the cell from stock and we can see the process flow and this process flow for this process with all these steps which is which are shown here are also represented in this process step list so if we select BD9, we will have this sell from stock and all these process steps, what you see here, are the same which are in this process flow. So the idea is if we have mapped to our current process, sales process thing materials, the BD9 sell from stock as for HANA best practice process, we can simply run through these steps which are shown here and there are also some steps which are mandatory or steps which are just optional which we do not need necessarily. So this is the relation and the idea behind. So back to our BPML. In our BPML, we do have, as you can see here, the different process areas, end-to-end -end process areas, which is order to cache, 
plan to stock, make to inventory, procure to pay, quality management, budget to report or CO, accounting to report or FI, master data maintenance, and the plant maintenance area. So um, these are our end-to-end -end process areas with the typical current processes. For example, we have sales order processing materials for tools, for services. And additionally, we have typical end-to-end real-life examples like the end-to-end -end processes. This is an example from an automotive industry. Uh, we have end-to-end -end processes and for each of these different end-to-end -end processes, we do have a typical real-life example, which is represented here with the customer number, the material number, and uh, for all to, to combine all the different end-to-end -end processes into this end-to-end -end scenario, we can simply select the end-to-end -end processes which we need to put into a sequence in order to perform this end-to-end -end scenario. So this is, that was the starting point, this is how our current business is built. So we do have all these end-to-end -end processes involved in building this end-to-end -end scenario and retail sale for single purchase order customer. So the idea now is that we are going to map for each of these end-to-end -end processes the respective S4HANA best practice process and later on, it will be easy to just combine out of a selection of all involved process steps from this list to combine all the necessary process steps into one test script, which then is representing this process end to end rebuilt with S4HANA best practice processes. So the first step is that we are going to map our end-to-end -end test scenarios to the S4HANA best practice processes. So let's take an example. Um, so I've already mapped uh, certain processes in the sales area and I want to show you the next example uh, how it works with procurement into consumption. So this is procurement of uh, direct materials or into consumption. So what we can do is either we're going trying to find it here So consumable purchasing, it's BNX, so we can select the BNX. You can also, if you want to do it, you can also separate this line, uh, this column, sorry, and do a second one in order uh, to be able to just, oops, Wrong to just enter this this BNX straight and then apply a VLOOKUP uh, if you want and have the description looked up. So okay, we have this BNX con consumable per purchasing, and we can also check out how this looks like in the SAP Best Practice Explorer. So for this, we are going and 
looking for sourcing and procurement, operational procurement, and there we do have this consumable purchasing and the process flow uh, and the SAP best practices is like this. So what we do have here is also the process steps. Uh, purchaser, purchasing manager, warehouse clerk, and the accounts payable accountant. And just an additional information, you can also download this process flow in a BPMN2 format in this page and upload it into your BPM process, processing. Uh, all these are all these downloads we will also provide uh, in one file, in a zip file format uh, with horizontal lanes and with vertical lanes uh, in our Digistore in the future because uh, we have done the conversion. But back to our BPML. So the way it works is that first step is that you name all your end-to-end -end test scenario areas for each end-to-end -end test scenario area. And what I've done, for example, um, I've made a definition for all these areas, like order to cache, what is the start and what's, what is the end event and what it's covering. And what was the previous SAP R3 module or modules which were supporting this process. So we can always later on, and that's why it's named test areas, we can create test scripts which are just order to cache test scripts which are completely covering all the different variants which are appearing here in order to prevent that we have to test each and every end-to-end -end scenario throughout all different end-to-end -end test process areas. So I hope this gave you first insight. Um, in the column, you should have all the different processing variants, at least those which are customer driven, uh, maybe also some which are just driven by some other external parties. Okay, um, hope you did get it. If you have any question, don't hesitate to come back to us. I'm happy to assist you in setting up your BPML with the process steps and also help you to get started with this mapping process. Best regards, Christian Schutte.